Hey everyone, Humphrey here. 4 p.m. January 20th here at CM Paragon True Cafe, True Coffee. Approximately 2 p.m. had a crash on my DJI Phantom right into Victory Monument. Hard into Victory Monument. Uh, let me tell you what happened and uh, tell you the aftermath. So I was flying trying to get behind Victory Monument and misjudged uh, the depth, the distance. Slammed right into it approximately 50 to 75 feet up. Uh, after hitting I saw something fall away from the Phantom. I thought it was a prop blade, but actually it was the GoPro. I saw that the batter door was popped open, and since it was still flying, obviously the, the motor or the battery was still in the compartment, so that's pretty good. Just looking at the Phantom, and then I landed it after it drifted a bit, but uh, managed to land it safely. As far as the propellers, all the propellers are secure. Uh, two of the propellers don't have any visible damage on them. But uh, the other two, like this one right here, has this is all gashed up at the end. So both ends are gashed up, and this one as well. So it appears that probably it hit the, the monument this way. Uh, so not a big deal. I've got several replacement sets. So always travel with replacement propellers, especially if you've used this for a living. Let's take a look at the bottom of the Phantom. What we have here is, you can see, this is a one half of the top half of the gimbal for the Zenmuse. It's not the, I wasn't using the full Zenmuse because I chickened out on soldering, so I was using this and uh, that piece for vibration dampening. Uh, one of the grommets was still attached after the crash. Everything else fell off. Uh, we managed to recover two of the grommets, me along with uh, some of the Thai uh, protest security guards. I couldn't find that last grommet there, not a big deal, because Zenmuse gives you two extra sets of grommets, so it's all right there. Let's take a look at the attachment. So this guy right here attaches to this piece, it actually goes like that. Uh, <laughs> you can kind of see it's held together by duct tape. That was, that was there before. Uh, this is what holds the GoPro on the underside. Uh, you can see this piece is busted. Uh, I don't know if I should, I can jury rig something like super glue a piece or something there, but uh, the rest seems okay. As far as the GoPro frame, everything's okay there, not a problem. But the fastener, <laughs> now take a look at this. This fastener is bent to all hell. That's what the impact did right there. Nice, huh? But uh, still, still screws in, not a big deal. Now as far as the GoPro, as you can see, the GoPro powers on. Now after the impact, the GoPro fell off, slammed into the ground. The battery door popped open, uh, flew away, but we found that. The battery flew out, but uh, we found that as well. Or we did not find the battery, so I had to buy two, two more batteries. But it powers on. Uh, this piece of the housing, this side of the housing, was lifted up uh, a couple millimeters and I pushed it back in. And the lens has a couple extra scratches. And the housing of the lens, top right here, I don't know if the camera will see it, but it's caved in. <laughs> but uh, amazingly enough, it still powers on, it's now charging. And um, one, of the, one of the other photographers had a GoPro Hero 3, luckily. He popped a battery, or he gave me his battery temporarily, popped it into mine, it powered on, and we did a little recording. So. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> it still worked. Yeah, it still worked. We crashed into Victory Monument. <laughs> it still works. That guy with the flag, he found my GoPro. It still works. <laughs> And I borrowed the battery from this guy. Good guy, good guy. Thank God, thank Buddha. <laughs> as soon as I replace the propellers and charge everything back up, we should be okay. Once again, Humphrey, about 4 p.m. January 20th at CM Paragon. Thanks for watching.